Welcome back. Is that a... Yeah, that is a golem. Hmm. Doesn't seem hostile. It's just standing there. And these doors open. Okay. What's the this? The stone lives beneath Orle. Mathas Garna Fornan Pasal Roka Atra. What the hell? Start off in English, slide off into another. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, when can I? Oh, I'm so close, so close. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a nice weapon. That's a nice weapon. That's a nice weapon. I'll be broke. I will be broke. I'll have no sovereign, but that's such a nice weapon. Eh. Yes. Oh, I'm so broke, but that's a nice weapon. Oh, I got a codex thingy for it. Okay. I got happy at first because I was like, achievement, but that's not an achievement. That's a codex thingy. Alrighty. I have a weapon I can't use. I could make her sigh, maybe, and get it. But nah, we gotta find Severon. You know you still owe me five sovereigns, Elf. I'm good for it. Meaning that you'll borrow it from Hawk, probably. What? What do you mean? He's, he's mooching off of me? Is that what you're trying to imply? I mean, let's think about that statement a minute. We'll just get it from Hawk. What the hell? That's rather disturbing. But that points out what I talked about earlier. Where are these characters getting their money from? And he borrowed this money from Varric. I mean, how are you good for it? You don't make any money. But then again, you'd think that we'd split the stuff that we find in here and Strange. whatnot, but... Why would the assassin want the Dalish to give away his location? You asked that question already. Let's go back to uh, Fenris mooching off of me. Can we get back to what's important here? But no, you repeat yourself on something that... We already know what it is. He wants us to come here so he can try to kill us. You know what it is. He's that good of an assassin. He's a very good assassin. And he's a sweetheart. God, I hope they make him look better in this game than he did in the um, Origins. In my playthrough, um, yeah, it's going to be hard looking at him. Because they, they, they did not make him... It's, it's like they put a lot of work into Alistar and didn't put enough into... Uh, Zevran, my opinion. Well, correction, they put a lot of work in Morgan and Alistar. Let's keep it real. And even Liliana, it seems like Zevran was the um, last one of the bunch. And they seem to like wrinkles in Dragon Age or oh, Origins, if I remember correctly. Because even like Isabella had like wrinkles in the top of her head or forehead. 
What is that pouring out of the ceiling in there? Did y'all see that? In the other room, there was something pouring out of the ceiling. Okay, pick up the conversation where he's mooching off of me. And what was the point of even bringing this up? Is he destitute or something? Anything I could say would be insufficient. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not good with words. Yeah, what's up with that? Like with he's the ready elves? For an army with all these traps. Thank you for the warning, Varric. Do your that's thing, baby. Food. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. Um. Oh. It, oh, wow, really? Um, in in um this game, Fenris is all shy and scared of love, and you don't you don't hear them say the words "I love you," in unless I missed it. But he was like, "Command me to leave, and I shall go." And then he ends up with the, you know, the plate and the scarf signifying his love. And he gives gooey looks, but he does not, they don't mention any affection. And the same thing happened with Zephron in Dragon Age Origins. Uh oh, no, another one of these? Really? He wasn't, Alistar was the I love you. And I don't know that I do with that issue. And women would just like, oh. And I'm not even gonna front. I was one of them. Although I'm not sure if I'd actually want that in real life, but I think I'd want more of a Zebron in real life. Okay, it's ridiculous that I have to kill this thing twice. just lost two of my people. Alright. Time to restart this fight. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, there was no way I could have survived that. I did not like killing that thing the first time. I'm really not enjoying killing this a second time. And I really don't understand why this thing is even there. And how it could be there. And Zevran is in this cave too. It's not making any sense. I guess I could have cut out the uh <sighs> Well no, I can't even there's no way to avoid this because Zevran is on the other side of this thing, so there's nothing I could avoid. I can't cut out anything. Crap. Okay. Make sure my people are far away. So I was thinking, you know, it's like there's gotta be. But now I'm beginning to wonder if I'm in the right spot because if I would Severin be able to hide behind this thing and Zevran not have to fight it, you know. Wow. Piles of bones. Hmm. <laughs> I lost them again. I looked at the bones and looked up and they were dead. Okay. Maybe third time is the charm. Did I go through this the first time? I'm really not focused right now. <laughs> totally not focused. But I will be this time because I'm starting to get annoyed. I don't understand what's killing them. It's like every time I look down or away or something, I look up and two people are dead. And it's always the same two people. It's always Anders and Varric. It's never me and Fenris what's right up on the, th on the thing. It's always, you know, like a long distance area of effect thing. And that's my phone. Uh. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm trying to think of what is causing. Okay, they're at a distance. I mean, honestly, I really don't care if Varric dies, but I care if my healer dies. It's not like I have a whole lot of potions on me. Well, I guess technically I do. Nine, thirteen. Okay. I'm not an idiot. I'm looking at... The, okay, see? Their health is half down. Varric is almost nothing. And there's no reason for him to be like this. him out of the way. Let's move him. Um, sorry people, but I'm sick of these two dying. I'm freaking annoying. Okay. Okay, everybody should be good for the moment. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, God, again? Oh, my God, no. No, no, no. 